I want to really get to understand why was London Black Atheist set up? I think um, when we um, started it, it was because we realized that we were not seeing um, a lot of black people at atheist and uh, secular events. The founder, Clive, said oh, there must be um, a lot of black atheists there. Why are they not attending um, atheist events? Is it because they are not identifying with what um, is going on or is it because um, they don't know whether it is in, can be a black or an African thing. And we thought, okay, we will start um, the London Black Atheist for those who are searching, those who are questioning, those who are wondering, and those who have left religion, but they don't know if they fit anywhere or they belong anywhere. Um, because that was my experience too when I first became an atheist. I felt alone and lost. I didn't know anybody that was like me, any African particularly. Um, so um, that was the, one of the main reasons we, we started the uh, London Black Atheist. What we want to do is to get to a situation where a lot more people are aware of London Black Atheists so that the African diasporic population will have somewhere to go to if they have questions regarding religion, if, or if they want a place, a safe place to come out to, if they want to leave the religions, you know. And the sign that people are a little bit wary because they've been brought up in it all their lives. So it forms their social structures, it forms even part of their identity. But it is actually very harmful and we want a more constructive society uh, which actually helps us to make progress because the more we stay stick to the churches the more backwards we, we become so we want to have a situation where uh, real progress real peace and real enlightenment takes over for me one of the aims is to have um, a safe place if you are a black atheist, um, a place of support, a place to discuss. There are specific issues, there are certain issues that are um, specific to Africans when you become an atheist. Um, and you need a place where you want to discuss these things, where you want to share these things, and where you want to discuss how you deal with it and you support each other. Also, a social forum, um, religion is central to African um, social um, lifestyle. Everything we do uh, as Africans involve praying to God, involve singing, everything. And when you become an atheist, that's one of the first things you miss. The clapping, the dancing, the social life, the fellowshipping, association with people that you have common life themes with. So, and that's one of the things we do in LBA, like tonight, we are planning to go out to dance and, um, uh, yes, so the social aspect of it. Also, um, we hope to promote a rational um, way of life, um, understanding science, understanding philosophy, understanding a lot of things, rather than um, what we are used to, the dictate from religion, from the Bible, from priests, from superstition. Well, I was in limbo. I wanted to become a Muslim, a Buddhist. I even uh, got into Wicca. But then when I, well, I started getting into science, I was actually into science fiction. But then I started reading like popular science. Uh, now I'm doing a university course. The more I began to look at the natural world and look at physics and biology, the more I realised that the less likely that there is a God or gods or whatever, you know, it's it, the universe just is. It just does what it does and oh, we're just a part of that web of life and that, that part of the universe. We're just stardust. What London Black it is, is not. It is not a, a racist group. I've had people um, asking, 
how will you feel if there is a London white atheist? The thing is, um, atheism is already associated with Europeans. What a lot of people are saying is that atheism is un African and that to become an atheist means you've lost your African identity and that is because you've been brainwashed and you've been westernized. And I want it to be clear that I am an African woman and as an Ijebu woman, as an African woman, I am allowed to question, I'm allowed to be skeptical, I'm allowed to choose, I'm allowed to, to reject, I'm allowed to reason, I'm allowed to rationalize, I'm allowed to go where evidence is leading us. If you could sum up LBA, a London Black Atheist, to someone who's never heard of us, if you could explain in a few words, what is LBA? LBA is the place where you will actually find uh, reason and rationality beginning to spread through the black community, through the African diaspora community. That is what basically we are. We are a welcoming community, we're a friendly community, and we want everybody to understand that we're not threatening at all. We don't uh, make any uh, quarrels and fights and we're not uh, out to get anyone. We just want people to make the best use of their short time here on earth. That's it. That's what LBA is about. A domino effect of rationalism, I suppose, just slotting things into place and just thinking, you know, I mean, we're all we're part of nature, we're part of the universe, you know, and just instead of just trying to overthink something, we just got to relax and just realise, you know, that we're the only creatures on this earth that has that consciousness to realise that everything is beautiful, everything is the way it is, you know, and instead of just trying to fight it, we just try to look for the beauty in the reality of things. That's it. Don't be afraid of death, but just be afraid that you're not going to be able to use the time sensibly and just try to, you know, find the time and use the time sensibly and realise that you only have one life and it's never going to come again. So, you know, this is our opportunity to, uh, to come together and, and be nice to each other and just, you know, come together and look at the most beautiful things that are there in this world.